All right, challenge time. Hands on the challenge. So this is for the Apex Trigger Trailhead. All right, piece of cake. Create an Apex Trigger for a count. So on the account object that matches shipping address postal code. So just the postal code with billing address postal code based on a custom field all right for this challenge you need to create a trigger that before insert or before update checks for a checkbox and if the checkbox field is true check true set the shipping postal code which is this is the API name to be the same as billing postal code. Okay, that's pretty straightforward and simple. Let's go to our hands on org developer beginner, which is I'm going to use. I'm going to pop this up and we are going to create a new Apex trigger. Go to our developer console, get icon developer console, and then make it large well it goes large automatically this is the trigger from the previous example i'm going to close that so let's take a look at our challenge so the apex trigger must be called account address trigger this would be on the account object right flip back to my developer console file new apex trigger this is the name account address trigger on account object boom flip back so it is going to be before insert and before update right what did i saw that mm -hmm. For this challenge, you need to create a trigger that before insert or update. Okay, so let's change this before insert, before update, right? Looks good. So the account object will need a new custom checkbox that should have a field label match billing address. So I'm going to copy this. We will need to create a new field on the account object. So I just copied this text. I flip back to my uh, playground. I'm going to go to set up here, pop it up, make a new field on the account object. Go to my object manager, go to my account, fields and relationships and make a new one which is a check box a check box and hit next the name would be that boom uncheck and then we're just going to leave everything blank everybody can see this field and we are going to add that check box onto our page layouts save all right that step is done. Let's see. So whenever the checkbox is true, a true or checked, right? We want to copy. We want to copy the shipping postal code, right? The shipping postal code here to match as the billing postal code. That's what we want to do, all right? Okay, now we are going to flip to our developer console. Trigger account address trigger on account before insert, before update. So let's start the for loop for account a trigger dot new okay so for every account that is 
going to be inserted or updated is going to execute this chunk of code we are going to put here. Alright? So because this is pretty simple, I'm not going to do a before insert or before update because this whole trigger will always execute this code and it's going to always execute on before insert and before update. So if you don't need things complicated, don't make things complicated, okay? So we are going to make this simple for account A trigger.new. So if right if match what is it called again match billing address let's check the api name here match that is the api name that you are going to use for an apex code right the api name i'm copying this if a dot match billing address right the value of account which is a right a dot match billing address equals true or it's checked right and then you have to copy it all right so what do we need to copy we need to copy the shipping postal code to be the same as the billing postal code <laughs> that's pretty simple a dot shipping postal code, right? The account, which is A now, it becomes a variable A. Account dot shipping postal code would be A dot billing postal code. You can even choose it from here, right? And you're done. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> well, there is no problem. So this is a very, very, very simple trigger. This will execute before insert and before update. Basically, it checks, is that checkbox true? Yes or no. If it's true, then the shipping postal code will be matching billing postal code. I'm going to save this and we are going to test it. All right, let's do the Dick Smith contact. So uh, not account, not contact account. If I go maybe here and I go to my accounts here, let's try it. All right, Dick Smith. I don't think Dick Smith has an address though. This Dick Smith, if I go to details, the address, um, let's see. This is the, this is the checkbox, right? But that is no address is blankety blank. So if I put um, billing first, right? Let's do one, two, three, four, Task Street, Fremont, California, nine, four, five, three, eight, right? Billing country, U as of A. So the shipping street is um, blank, right? Let's see, let's save it, let's, let's make it blank. So, I am going to save this. Nothing will have nothing done, right? Because this is not checked, right? Now, if I check this match billing address, now the postal code, just the postal code, not everything, just the postal code will have to match, okay? If I save that, boom, it matches, right? But that's not, that's kind of ugly. We have we want to do the whole thing, not just the the zip postal code. But the challenge did not ask you to copy everything. It just asked you to copy the shipping right into the billing. But you can copy everything. But if you check the challenge here, you're gonna be done. You're gonna get five hundred points. But that looks ugly, right? Let's fix that. They should have asked to copy everything because it's going to be matching, right? Match billing address. Come on. See, we got the point. We got the 500 point, but I am not happy because this is ugly. Look at that. Where is it? What is this? Just copying the postal code? You can ship. 
your product or your Amazon order to just that. So let's just copy the whole thing. Okay. So we're going to say a dot, um, what is it? Um, billing address equals a, no, 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 wrong. Shipping address address a dot billing address semicolon a dot shipping city equals a dot billing city this is not required by the challenge but I want to do it state uh, shipping state right state 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 equals a dot billing state well, let's do this street, not address, because address is basically the whole thing. The whole thing. Okay, here you can just, just do address as well. So we got street, city, state, postal code, country. Okay. A dot shipping country equals A dot billing country. And we miss a semicolon over here. Now we're done. Okay, well, this is not required by the challenge, but this looks ugly, right? Now, if I, uh, if I edit anything else, like annual revenue, like one, what is that? One trillion dollars. So if I save this, this whole thing would copy. That's better, safe. Boom, see, it's copying the whole thing. Now I'm happy. And I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing and bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.